Hello and welcome back to Story of Seasons Poop. My name is Usser. I finished out the day we were on when I was at the end of the last episode and I got this storyline trigger. I've done no grinding, so <clears throat> here we go. Good morning. The town development project is finally at its peak. I can barely contain my excitement. This time I'd like to beautify this shining symbol of our town. That's right, one and only Olive Hall. Okay, didn't we do that though? Don't tilt your head at me, young man. An attractive town hall exterior is vital to our project's success. I want our town to be something each and every one of us can take pride in as citizens of Olive Town. I've already posted the details on the bulletin board, so take a look at when you get the chance. I'm counting on you. Okay. So today we are going to work on planting. Um, ooh, hey. That's right, I passed out when I was doing stuff. Or a calcum. <laughs> All right, let's see. What do we need? 50 bricks, 20 durable... Tough grass. Oh, that's not for the town. Okay. So durable lumber, bricks, or refined coal. I've got the refined coal, but I don't want to do it because that would be... Um, I wouldn't have any more uh, fuel for my pump. I'd have to go mining before I could do that. So I'm not going to do that one. We're going to do the bricks. It's going to take a while, but I've already got a good start on it. So let's go do some planting. Avocado seedling. I'm going to have all the... Um... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Almond spores. They're the most expensive ones. So what we found out from wintertime is that I did not have enough fodder. I didn't even come close. I had to buy a bunch uh, because it snowed almost every single day for 20 straight days. So we are going to make sure we have plenty this time. Oh no! Oh, brown alpaca, you're so cool! Oh man! Oh hey! I have 54 bricks! I didn't realize I had it on me. Let's go do that. Turn that in. I was just going to go into town to give some gifts. Let's go take care of the town hall. Oh, yeah. Boom! Five grand. Nice. Okay, so the town hall is taken care of. We'll have another storyline trigger in the coming days. I'm gonna go get some gifts now. Aha! Storyline trigger! At last, at last, Olive Hall is more beautiful than ever before! does look like it's got a nice fresh coat of paint. I knew those countless hours scrubbing floors and tidying up would be worth it eventually. Ain't no need for waterworks, Victor. I reckon this is only the beginning. Ah, finally, we have something in our town we can unabashedly take pride in. Oh, I think you may be mistaken, Nagudian. There's so much more about this town to be proud of. Like what, huh? It's people, for one thing. They are our pride and joy, bursting with kindness and compassion for their fellow neighbor. That's just fine, but we should be thinking about our next goal for those compassionate people, like building up a first-class town they can be proud of. Seemed to me like everyone was already proud of it. I certainly am. And we ought to tell the world about us. We've got, we've got to let the masses know how awesome it is here. We've got all of town pride, and we ain't afraid to show it. What's all this? Everyone sharing such positive feedback? Now it's your turn, Mr. Mayor. You tell us something nice you want to do for the town. Dad, you've got big dreams. You should... You're allowed to talk about them. You should talk about them. I don't know if I'd call them dreams, and I don't know if they're realistic. I'd rather not give everyone's hopes too high. And I'll tell them for you. I want this town to become a tourist destination so famous that luxury liners will be begging to dock here. What? That'd be incredible! Yeah, let's make it happen. 
Final Man's dream, and as much as he doesn't believe it, it can come true. If we work for it together, we can make it a reality. Oh, Jacopo, I was trying to, I wasn't trying to cry anymore today. Put our heads together and make the mayor's dreams come true. I'm gonna help too. And me. Everyone, I sniffle, sob. Come on, mayor, keep it together. Yeah, we've still got a ways to go. If we work together, we can do whatever we put our minds to. For Olive Town! For Olive Town! <laughs> so, next step will probably be upgrading the dock. Because we have to have room and the ability to house giant luxury liners. I'm still curious about what's going to happen up here. It's blocked off for a reason, but why? We should be able to do something up there. Alright, time to go chop some Mirage Lumber. Um, I don't get a lot of it, because there's only two trees, but I need to make sure I chop them both down and start building up that supply, because that's going to take a while to get everything I need for the Hydro Farm. And my house. I think the Orc Halcom tools need Mirage Lumber too, so I need a lot of it, and there's not a lot of it in the game. I might go check this uh, uh, mining area, uh, Stonebreaker Valley, and see what's back. I really don't expect there to be our Calcum back, but I want to take a look. What do we got? We've got gold. Yeah, the Aura Calcum's not back yet. It's been, what, three days? No Orichalcum. Everything else has respawned now. I hope the fodder doesn't take too much longer to grow. I've only got 36 deluxe fodder left. That'll be gone in one day if it rains. My logging. I get uh, level 9 next. It's a ways to go to get to it, but... I really want to get that logging leveled up because I have a feeling that it's going to be just like mining where there will be an earth sprite area of some type where I can just log everything and that's where I'm going to find more mirage lumber. So I'm trying as best I can to level that up because if I get level 9 I'm almost, almost positive. Oh, whoops. Hey, by the way, I'm low on energy. <laughs> wow, why is the diamond selling for 12000 Who cares? I don't know why it's selling for higher. If somebody could tell me what that green stuff is for selling certain things higher, I would love to know. Is it because I got Stonebreaker Valley? I don't know. But I'm not going to complain about the fact that the diamond is 12000 instead of ten. Very close to maxing these guys out. Which is awesome. So I maxed out the stone ones. I want them working the hardest. They've got a hundred. <clears throat> Woohoo! Level up for the grass sprite. Nice. That's what I wanted to do was level these guys up too. There's only two this time. There might be some more next time when I come back. <laughs> anyway. Trying to level up my my logging and that's not gonna happen because I just got more work calcum and now I am out of stamina almost. Alright, so as you guys are well aware, this is a mess. Um, I'm not even gonna try and hide the fact that I know it's a mess. But when I was doing it, I didn't have access to like this golden axe. Which I could just tear down a huge area. Um and so I'm gonna try and start cleaning this up a little bit. We're going to try and get this set up in a much better fashion. Might not get it all done today, but I'm already low on energy because I got that ore calcum. But we're going to get a start on it. Now I also want to make fences. Let's figure out what it takes to make some just normal wooden fence. Logs. Got lots of those. 
because I want to fence this in so these animals aren't going everywhere. Oh god, get out of the fucking way. So they aren't going everywhere. Now somewhere I had some fence. Yes. Fence. And lots of logs. So let's go put down. Okay. So I can only do it to a certain point, and then it doesn't let me do it anymore. However. I'm gonna try and fancy in both of them so the animals can like mingle and hang out, but they are in a set area where they can't go mess up the rest of my stuff. Okay, maybe with the animals out of the way, I'll be able to finish off my fence. I've made some good progress on it. Um, we're making good progress on the money issue. I'm at 200,000. You can't see it because it's behind my face. Um, it's just waiting on Orc Calcum. That's the tough one. Yeah, it was just the animals. Okay, so we've got it set everywhere except this corner, which they're not... They're not letting me do that. And they're not letting me fence it in there. I'm not going to be too upset that they don't let me completely fence it in. I just want to kind of restrict them so they're not all in the way. This may be kind of problematic when it comes to, like, milking and brushing and all that. I didn't give them a lot of room. So it may be a little tough to get to them. I may need to put in another uh, uh, gate somewhere. To help get me access. I just... I need them out of the damn way, or I may just have to go in and take care of all that stuff before I let them out. Typically, I let them out first. Well! Never mind! Like, because I didn't get it completely fenced in because I put it too close to the water, they can just leave, apparently. They're still, they're still restricted a little bit more. Right, you are, Kara. And that's, that's really what I wanted. I didn't want them in the damn way over here so much. So, it's an improvement. It's not perfect, but it's better. Now I need to work on this. Okay, so it's not in the best order, necessarily, but at least it's not a mess anymore. So, I'm pretty happy about that. It looks a lot neater. I suppose the big question is, how easy is it for me to ride my motorcycle through it? Okay, it's not bad. I can get around if I need to. Cool. Because I do. I need to go look for more Mirage Lumber. But first, gifts. We're doing Mirage Lumber. I'm going to go to the next festival, whenever that is. Um, hopefully get some more Oracalcum. Let's look real quick. I'm hoping to get a storyline trigger. Oh no, I'm not going to the next festival. That's in a full... Like, 10 days almost. So... I'm just trying to see if there's a storyline trigger. But I, I spruced everything up. That makes it so much nicer. Let's go and check. Because there wasn't the three or a calcum ingots, or ingots, uh, spawn points when I went there last time. Oh boy. Everything respawns really fast except the Oracalcum. Since I've got all this space now, this better area, I might as well plant all these potatoes that I got as a gift. I mean, it's more money, so why not, right? Well, we're gonna finish out the day. We'll check the storyline trigger tomorrow. I made another uh, threat yarn maker and cloth maker because I just cannot keep up with these guys and all their their wool. So definitely going to get um, double duty going on here. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it, um, but like I said, I want to get it sorted out. Our machines aren't the prettiest, they're not in the best order, but it's better. We look nicer. We've got animals more contained. 
ish. I mean, they have a way out. Chicken, what are you doing in the water? That's weird. That's weird. He's just going for a swim. But that is... Like, once I finish out the day, we'll check the storyline triggers, but that'll about do it. I mean... I'll be able to finally grind some more. We're getting close to four hearts for both Reyna and Laura. So, you know what? Why don't we just go to sleep and I'll take care of all that stuff in the morning. I just want to check a storyline trigger, make sure we don't have anything pop up. Because I need some hefty grinding going on. It's going to take a long time to get that Auric Alchem. And, I mean, that's all we're waiting on. Okay, go outside real quick. If nothing happens, we're good to go. Also, it's raining, which means I can go after the olive crystals. I need to get olive crystals. Um, I need one more for the hydro farm. No storyline trigger, we're saving it. Cool. All right, so that will be all for this one. I'm going to do as much as grinding as I can. Hopefully we won't have a storyline trigger, but I mean, what can you do? I, I didn't even finish out the day last time, so if, if that happens, it happens. And I'll just continue trying to get the money. I'm probably going to end up with the money before I get the Auric Alchem and the Mirage Lumber needed to upgrade my Hammer and Axe. It's crazy. Anyway, leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can see whenever I put anything new up. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Catch you on the next one. Bye!